sometimes I do this thing where I think I'm recording, but I'm not. So I just went through all this and it didn't record. Ugh, that's okay. I probably was meandering on about something, but whatever. Anywho, so I found these. I don't really pick up shoes when I was in college, especially. I'm still living in the same place that I was when I was in college because I'm living out my knees. Whatever, not the story. I never really picked up shoes when I was in college due to lack of space. I always just stick stuck to textiles. Um, so I'm trying to get myself back into shoes because there's a lot of money in shoes because shoes can last forever. So can textiles, whatever. Anyway, so like these platform little sandals, they're from Tom's, women six and a half. I thought they were so cute. I tried them on even though I'm like a seven and a half, eight. But I was like, maybe, not even, no, it's okay. Uh, free people, love free people, even though it's not free, this shit's hell expensive. Okay, it's just like one of their thermals, it's, I just like the color, it's, I don't know, someone opened a case on Poshmark saying that it was orange or coral, and I call it red. So like, I'm thinking this is like, we'll just call this red, coral, orange. Cause I just don't even know anymore. <sighs> Wilfred Free, it's this cute little sweater, shirt thing. Um, it's one of the private brands from Aritzia. I love Aritzia, it's super expensive, but their clothes are, Awesome quality. Um, Wilfred, um, Sunday's Best. Can I think? Aritzia is also like a brand. Can't think. Anyway, it'll come to me. Um, this state side, um, it's just a basic tea. But they pride themselves on being made in the United States. Um, this J. Crew flannel. I was super excited because it was a size two. I'm more like a size zero, but I like my flannels a little bit big. Um, but then I, so I was stoked because these are like Seahawks colors, blue and green. And then I got home and there's like no buttons on them. So that's going to be a project for me, but that's okay because I really like this. And I think I'm going to soak it um, in salt water for a few days. Really soften it up. Um, I found a bunch of Nike uh, sports bras. This one must have purchased all their stuff. I'm just going to check because I'm going to be sad. Okay. <clears throat> just on the off chance it wasn't recording. When you're up at altitude, you have to be drinking liquids all the time or you just like die. Die. Um, oh yeah, this is Lulu. It's Lulu Tank. It's super cute because it's got like these slits up the sides. Hot, it's hot. Whew. Catch me at the gym, looking good. Um, another Lulu. Um, I literally found both of these like wrapped up together. So I'm going to assume that this is a four as well. I'm also going to assume it's a four because I tried it on and it fit and twos never fit me in tops. I mean, I know that's not like great validation, but what else? Um, I found quite a few of these like, um, Nike t-shirt tank things. Um, this is a women's extra large. These usually sell for anywhere from like 13 to like 25 bucks. Um, these really cute um, four button uh, Levi 501s. It looks like someone may have cut them, but they did a damn good job. Um, what size are they? Um, 24, oh, 
Well, I may have to try those on. Because I can never find things in my size. Ooh. Yeah, I just found this today. <laughs> I found all of this over the last, like, two days. But I haven't, like, re-put this one right side in. If that makes sense. It's inside out. This is Free People. It's kind of a little, a little bit of a peplum style, but I like it. Um, I kind of really like the fabric. It's like um, like a pink, but like orangey a little bit. I don't know, I kind of like it. It's cute. Um, this is a medium. I like it, it's cute. I like Free People, even though I think Free People is kind of on the downslope. Uh, next time you go into a big department store that sells free people, you know, like when you walk into Nordstrom and you see like free people, um, you know, that there's like sections for different brands, you'll notice, now it, I think it's very dependent on like where you live in the country, um, but I've noticed in like Seattle and down here in like in Scottsdale that they're like pushing free people further back. It's not like up front, which is part of consumer psychology. Granted, that doesn't necessarily mean like stop buying free people. I think free people's great. I think they're just, they need to revamp a little bit in a way. I don't know where that re revamping would come from, but uh, I think they just, clearly they need to fix something because consumers aren't buying it as much. Um, I found these Lulu. Leggings. Oh, I think there are two. They've got like the drawstring. They're a little bit, um, ooh, there's drawstrings on the bottom of these two. Um, they're boot cut, I'd say. They're not like completely like wide flared. I like those. That's my thing is, I feel like everything I pick up, I would wear. But my rule of thumb is don't try it on. Um, these are really cute. I need to wash them. Um, they're Treasure Bound. This is a brand that you can find at Nordstrom. Um, but they're, they're just cute. They're like leathery. They've got a really funky texture. I don't know if you can like see. But anyway, there's these pants. I need to wash them. Kind of dirty. But I like them. They were funky and a little different. Just like me. <laughs> okay, um, these Lululemon leggings. They're purpley. They're like straight cut. I'm gonna say these are Luan. So I love these. Um, they're size six. Super cute. Um, these I've already listed. Um, and then I talked about these also on my Instagram, um, but on the, these are like Ebb something, EBB, um, Lululemon Seamless Leggings, um, yeah, see Lulu, um, but this, these perforated little bars on here, um, are also a sizing mechanism for Lululemon. Um, they don't have, the, the seamless leggings will never have a size dot. Um, maybe they will in the future, but um, this indicates the size. So each raised bar, so there's four of them. So can you, I'm like straddling my table. Um, so there's like four, right? Four little bars, one, two, three, four. Um, no bars on here would represent a size two, one bar is a four, two bars a six, three bars an eight, four bars a 10, and then a fifth bar, which it's not on here because these are size 10, but um, a fifth bar would be a size 12. So that's important to note. Um, two, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you somehow ended up here, um, I'll leave my Instagram below and I always throw out good content in regards of sizing um, in brands or just um, tips and tricks on brands or I give a lot of background information on brands the history um, 
figuring out counterfeits, fakes. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. That's how you do siphon on these bad boys. Heller. And with the good content, right? Okay, um, I also found this Lululemon jacket. I need to do my research and figure out what the style name of this bad boy is. But yep, so there's the little uh, logo. I don't know what the, the, it is. I do know it's on the newer side because of newish side because it's got this little thing. Um, I think they started those in like 08. This is a size six as well. So yeah, you can find size dots um, in pockets. Sometimes they have extra little pockets, like in the pocket where you could like put like, I don't know, like an MP3 player. I don't know what else would fit in it. Keys, keys, that's what would fit, MP3 player. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, yeah, size dot in there. Or then my suggestion is like, if you can't find a size dot, Sometimes I'll suggest either like matching it up with if you have if you own other Lulu or measuring it um, Like laying it flat and then measuring it and then comparing the sizes that Lululemon has on their website um, I found these guest jeans I don't know why I picked them up. I think I just liked them a lot. There was just little quirky things about them and this little thing it looks like a music note or like a, I don't know, but it's like attached. It looked cool. I don't know. And then I just kind of liked the funky, um, like 1981 skinny. I don't know, but they're like new. They're cute. They're 25s. I'm going to have to try those on. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, these overalls are in on i love it i already tried these on um sizing for me is really weird because i work out and so my thighs sometimes are really muscular but then i've got really small waist so finding things that fit sometimes is really hard so i tried these on and they didn't fit my lips but they're cute little overalls they're from garage i never really pick up anything from garage but I picked up these, they're a size one, so like a zero. Um, normally odd numbered things, so size zero, two, four, six is women's sizing. Odd numbers is juniors. It's rule of thumb. So anyways, um, that doesn't mean that we as women can't fit into things like this. Um, these, Hudson's, um, they're skinnies. They're like the Krista super skinny stretch. Uh, they're a size 31. They're black, they're in really good condition. There is just a little baby spot on there. Oh. Oh, I can get that off. That's easy pants. Boom shakalaka, okay. LaCroix Brave. Also, if anyone who works for LaCroix or knows anyone that works for LaCroix, I'd love to be sponsored by these guys. Just saying. I love you, LaCroix. Okay. Pure and Good. This is an Anthro brand. It's just a basic tea. Um, but people like their anthro stuff, and this wasn't. This is in really good condition. I think maybe it's been worn a couple times. Um, after a while, as like a reseller, you become very adapted to um, the feel. I got criticized a lot for like going to the bids. Not like I give a shit, but I get criticized for um, digging in the bins with my hands and not wearing gloves. Um, yeah, there's been times where I've touched things that are wet and I don't want to know what it was that made it wet. Um, but 
Um, and I'm up for it. Whoever wants to video record it and put me up to the test, you could, you know, quiz me on like Lululemon. No doubt. Like blindfolded, giving me like a line of different athleisure wear, and I could pick out Lululemon. 100%. Full, full, um, I have full faith in myself. Um, this Eileen Fisher, um, it's a medium. It's like this little hoodie thing. I was really shocked that, like, when I looked at the tag, it was Eileen Fisher. Um, but I really, it's like, it's, I don't know how to explain it. What is it? What? The fabric. Oh, it's cotton? No. This doesn't feel like cotton. This is a different kind of cotton. I don't know, man. They don't know, but we know. Also, if you haven't watched Crystalia, um, screw my video and go watch Incorrigible on Netflix. It's the funniest thing um, ever. I can recite the entire thing. I got my roommates into it. They can now recite the entire thing. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Anyway, so I also have this horny toad dress. Um, this isn't like the best flip, but once again, I always say, you know, if I'm at the bins and I can find something that I know I can flip for like 25, 30 bucks, I'm like, okay, so this is half a pound, seven, eight ounces. Yeah, I'd say. I'm paying 50 cents, 75 cents. So my profit margins are stellar. And I always say like, here's a tank of gas. Why would you pass up on a tank of gas? The answer is you wouldn't. That was a rhetorical question. Uh, uh, this, another Eileen Fisher, like sweater thingy. Really cute, striped. This is also 100% cotton. I can feel it. Boom. Love it. I like Eileen Fisher. I like that she has, um, you can return her stuff and I like a recycling program and you get a credit. Soma, this is like a little nightgown thing. It's new with tags, it's always great. Um, but Soma, I think, sells even when it's not new with tags. I think it does sell when it's not, even when it doesn't have tags on it. But I just like this lace detail on here. Um, her, I think I'm, I say her, but I'm really attracted to this stuff because it is so soft. And if you've been following me, like at all, you know my obsession with soft things. Like if it isn't soft, I can't wear it. Or you know what I mean? Like anything itchy, remotely itchy. It just like mm, mm, makes my back. Mm, no. Mm. It makes me itchy thinking about it. it. Makes me itchy thinking about it. It's not okay. Anyway, okay. Stop thinking. Soft, 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 soft. Um, Wild Fox. Um, this is hit or miss because some basic things like this sometimes won't sell. Um, there are some things with Wild Fox that um, will go for a crap ton of money. Um, my suggestion is always um, on Wild Fox there are some like funky sayings. Just go into comps on Poshmark or on eBay and type in uh, the if there's a saying on it. Um, like there was one, it was like pizza over boys or something like that. Like pizza and the greater than sign boys, just type it in and then go look at comps and see what things have sold for. Um, I say this a lot, but comps are your biggest friend. If you know, if other things recently have been selling and then you also look at what's currently on sale, if the market for that given product is super saturated 
you may be sitting on it for a while. Um, but two, if you find it at the right price and you can price it competitively where you still get yourself a good profit, go for it. Um, you know, that's all I can say without, you know, giving specifics on certain brands or anything like that. But uh, anyway, so this is also, this is one of those Nike tanks. It's got like this open back thing with the just do it, stretchy, love it. <clears throat> um, this Mountain Hardware Women's, it's like a, we'll just do this, it's going to be easier. I don't know, I'll just hold it up. But just like this Mountain Hardware tank, right? And then it's, it's in really, it's like new. Because, here I'll show you, I'll show you the why. Like look at the, uh, what do you call that, the paint? I don't know, sure, the paint on it. And then here too. Really good conditions. I'm in that extra large. Um, and then this is Free Peeps. Intimately Free People. Uh, right? Boop. Um, it's like a thermal onesie. I like it. It's a medium. So it's an extra small or an extra small. I keep it. I'm really glad that Free People is starting to make it extra, extra small. Cause their sizes are so weird like sometimes I can't even fit in a, like a four and I'm not like I'm a small human we're not here skinny shame I'm just saying like sometimes I a zero is too big but sometimes a four I can't even like get on their sizes are wonky so with that too always um, provide measurements anyway another one of those Nike Tees, and again, <laughs> another one of those Nike tees. Uh, yeah, oh wow, and I'm almost done. Uh, <clears throat> I got this for the softness factor, and I also thought the neck on this was really weird. But I think it's because you can like roll it down. Um, but this is Halogen, which is a, a Nordstrom specific brand. I think it's maybe one of the private labels. Um, but it's just a turtleneck. I got it because it's soft. I pick up soft things. Um, and then once again, I got these Victoria's Secret pink sweats. And once again, this is one of those things. Um, uh, where is it? Okay. I hope you can see this. So if not, I'll take a picture. Right here, the bottom number. I bet you won't be able to see it. It says 117. That's the date that it was released. Yep. Or no, 717. Oh, I need glasses. 717. So that's when it was released. Um, so these are newer. And anyway, this is like my take a guess um, scenario for myself. So anyway, yay. I'm going to chug the rest of my LaCroix. And yeah, I miss doing these. I like talking to myself into the camera. It makes me feel really sane. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, this has been fun. Um, subscribe, like, um, follow me on Instagram. Comment if you liked it, if you disliked it. Um, and stay tuned for more. Okay, bye.